How's it going, Dave from Comic Book Investments? So, CGC just got some new labels. It's actually with their signature series with uh, JSA. So if you haven't seen these new labels, personally, I think they look pr pretty cool. I love the black and gold. So they look better than the normal signatures, even though they're technically less as good, if that makes sense. So normally the way it works, if you haven't seen these labels, um, if you want a gold label, you have to go to a verified CGC like dealer or something like that that verifies that these people are signing. So if you, you know, if someone's signing like Stanley, obviously he doesn't exist anymore, uh, he'd passed. But if he was signing, you'd have to go to a verified place where CGC's there or had a verified CGC dealer that would witness these signatures. Then you get the gold label. If not, you would get that crappy green label. Now, nothing wrong with color green. I like the color green. But the way CGC works, green usually means there's a massive defect. Uh, so green could mean as simple as someone signed and they didn't verify it or it signed, you know, back in the 70s. And now it gets a green label because they weren't, obviously CGC wasn't there to verify it. And so, but it could also mean that there's a page missing, a coupon missing, uh, multiple pages missing. It could have sometimes even married cover, uh, pop staple, all sorts of things like that. Or like, you know, like a three ring binder punch hole in it. It can mean something like that. And they'll give it or like a really bad, like, you know, cut, you know, all sorts of stuff. Um, and by cut, I mean a miscut when they're actually cutting the book in manufacturing or sometimes a manufacturing defect. So that green label kind of encompasses a lot of different things that really have nothing to do with the book. And they, uh, especially when it comes to a signed book. So it really just, they just lump it in there. And I always thought it was really dumb to begin with to have it that way. Now, if you have, because I was like, I was like, this is insane. They have people that can look at signatures. I am no expert, but I can tell you what a Stan Lee signature looks like. Pretty easy. There's a lot of them out there. Pretty easy to tell. And they have experts out there, and that's all they do is literally just look at like signatures. And JSA is, that's what they do. That's what they do. That's what the company do. So why they didn't do this a long time ago, I don't know. I think it was just so it props up the value of the gold books. But now, honestly, those gold books are going to be kind of not worthless in a sense, but like you won't need to get a verified dealer anymore. You can go get it signed to whoever you want. So maybe it was too expensive for CGC to like pay all these verified dealers to be at certain sites. But now with this gold label, which looks way better, personally, I like the black and gold look. Now it's like if you have like a Jack Kirby, obviously Jack Kirby passed way before CGC, and you've had Jack Kirby, now you can send it in and they'll give this a label. We sent in some books and they just, you know, passed this new label. And some of our books, they're like, hey, do you want the new black and gold label? And we're like, yeah, of course. And it didn't cost us any extra, which is weird. So I don't know, maybe in the beginning or maybe because we're dealers, I don't know if it's like down the line, they're going to start charging people to verify probably. Maybe they get a few of these out there so people know what they are. I uh, give them the hands of dealers, people like me, and then I can talk about it or something like that. So we should be getting some of those back pretty soon uh, with the new label. So I'll definitely show all those off. But these are very cool labels. So I'm looking at my, sc my screen here. I love these labels. I love the black and gold. I think they look way better. Now, they did update the um, the normal CGC. Uh, I don't know what they really did much to it. It looks almost identical, slightly different. I don't know. Who cares? Um, I'm not... This black and gold, very cool looking, I must say. Um, yeah, much better than this plain gold looking label. So I would personally rather have this label, personally. Uh, so yeah, now they verify. And what that's going to do is all those, all those green labels that have like a signature on it and they get a green label somewhere, those are going to go up in value. Normally, trust me, I sell tons of these all the time. And normally with a green label is... If you have someone of note, like that's really hard to get a signature or someone like a long time ago that they couldn't verify like a Jack Kirby, you're gonna bring some value. But if you have just say a Todd McFarlane and obviously signs millions of books and you have one where he signed where there's no ver verification, you will get a, a green label and that book will be harder to sell because it's in people's minds. They don't want that green label. In their minds, they think it's a defect. But I'm like, it's not. It's not a defect. Someone signed the book. They went and get the signature of Todd McFarlane. So this is only going to prop up those books. So when I had to sell those green label books, I had to price them lower than just a normal universal label. Yeah, so if I had a Todd McFarlane, say like, you know, Spider-Man 300, and you had a blue label and say it was like a 9.6 or something like that, and then I had the green label version, 
with a signature on it, I would price it lower than a, a 96 Universal, even though it had a signature on it. Because if it had that gold label signature, it actually would be priced much higher than the blue label. But with the green label, it just devalued it. So now I feel like these are going to increase in value. So all those books out there, if you have some of those green labels or something signed out there, um, they will increase in value now. They will not be, I don't know, a thorn in your side because you have to find the right person that wants the green label in their collection. But with this gold label and this gold and black label that looks really, really cool, uh, I must say, uh, good on CGC. This is this is the right move. They should have done a long, long time ago. Uh, I don't know what it's going to do for why anybody would care to get the normal gold label now. This, this label looks better and it's cooler. And verified, not ver like verified or someone witnessed it. What's the difference? Like... It's the signature of Stan Lee or whoever it is. It's, you know, it's right. It is their signature. So let me know what you think in the comments below, what you think of this new, these new gold levels. Personally, I like it. Also, if you want to win this book over here, we have a, uh, a giveaway going on. Go over to our site, collectorscomics.com. It's down on the very bottom. It'll say giveaway or there's a banner. You can, uh, they all auto scroll, but sometimes it's like the second banner or something like that will be the giveaway. You just click there. You just click enter. That's all you literally have to do. If you don't have an account, obviously you have to sign up and we'll pay for shipping and all that kind of stuff. You don't have to deal with anything. And uh, we also have an auction going on. Check that out. It's our 10th one. Tons and tons of good stuff that you uh, might want to get, pick up. So check out the auction. Have a good day.